right, what's going on everybody? Chevy is probably going to hate this video and you guys are probably going to love this video because for today we're going to be installing the glow tie on our 2020 Blazer RS but this will fit 2019 through 2021 and all models basically like this. So Chevy, if, they, if you were to take this installation to Chevy, they would probably charge you hundreds of dollars in labor and parts. That's because they want you to remove the bumper. Well, keep in mind, you do not have to do that. And for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to replace the stock one for this glow tie. So if you guys don't know what it looks like, here it is. I don't know if you can really see it during the day, but you'll see more of it later on in this video. So go ahead and stay tuned. If that sounds like something you guys are interested in. And make sure you consider subscribing because there's more Blazer content to be seen. So without further ado, let's roll it. one tool I'm going to be using um, you don't really need it but it's going to be very beneficial for you so it's in your high, high interest to so go ahead and pick one up I'll leave it in the description box down below but it is an auto trim plastic removal kit so you'll see how I'm about to use it here in a second so without further ado let's go ahead and get this rolling because right now this is the basic RS black Chevy bow tie and we're going to go ahead and change it to a glow tie and uh, let me show you guys for a second so as you can tell, the lights light up and that remains black. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that and get that glowing. So here's some little plastic tooling right here. You wanna get like a thin one. Probably try this one, this one's pretty thin. Whole bunch of different leverage tools, tools in here. Just wanna get an edge. Keep in mind you wanna do this pretty slow, nice and even across that way you don't break anything there is that okay so once you do remove that little emblem right here you're gonna go ahead hop in the car and you're gonna pop this hood So once you have the hood popped, there's gonna be a couple pop clips in here. So this guy right here actually has a nice little tool where we can get these little pop clips out nice and easy. So they come out just like so. Make sure you don't lose any of these. So yeah, we'll go ahead and remove all these from this tray. Now that all those pop clips are removed, you are once again good to remove this tray. And I set this to the side. Just want to make sure I get all this plastic off the back end since I'm not going to be able to get that once it's installed. Here's the harness fed through here. And I'll show you how I routed this in a second. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. Alright, voila. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm sorry for the delay. So basically I ended up routing everything and it was dark at night and I wanna show you guys more in detail on how I actually did the routing process. So with that being said, I wanted to do that during the daytime. So here we are, the sun is out. The weather out here in Florida is pretty nice right now. So let's go ahead and get started on how I routed the glow tie up to the daytime running lights. So real quick, I wanna add something for you individuals that have the RS edition. So if you guys have the RS, you're gonna notice that our grill is a little bit different from all the other Blazer trims. So with that being said, here are the instructions. Um, you can find this on Chevy.com. I'll show you how to actually install this thing for yourself. Save yourself some money, because I have heard dealerships charging a leg and an arm just to install this thing, because they ask you to remove the bumper, which obviously you do not have to do that. So in this video, I'm showing you the way, the cheapest way to do this. So here is the instructions. It actually tells you to go ahead and bring it down here. That's where you're gonna be routing it. But if I were to do that, you would see you would see cables here. It would not look very pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I kind of modified it for the RS. You could probably do it with your model as well if you don't want to fit your fingers through there to, to route it. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So here's the glow tie. I have the one connection on the back of there. I have it going feeding through here so you can kind of see the harness right there. Runs through, it doesn't uh, get in the way of this or anything. And I have it running on top of this little section right here. This is gonna be what's underneath this cover tray. So it'll be okay right there. It's going to snake through this little grommet area, so that's kind of firm in place. I have it running down. And it's going behind this little bracket right here. As you can see, yeah, so it's going underneath that little bracket. Comes back off through the other side. And just a little hint, you're going to want to go ahead and move this intake piece right here. All it's on there with. Kind of hard to do with one hand. So all that's on there with is a little pop clip like the rest of this car. So remove that and then you'll be able to move that to the side and give yourself extra access to maneuver through here and get it behind that bracket. That way it doesn't get caught on anything. So as soon as it goes through underneath that bracket, it routes along the side of the car and you're going to be moving it underneath this guy. So as you guys can see right there, it's not getting in the way of anything. And then I have zip tied towards to, and then I have it zip tied to this harness right here, along the way up, all the way to your connections, which are right there. So on top of the routing of the harness, I want to show you guys how I actually connected these. So for the purpose of this video, I disconnected everything. So before you do any connections with any type of mates, you want to make sure you inspect everything, make sure nothing's cracked, nothing looks damaged, bent, and that looks good. So here is the glow tie end. And what you're going to look for is this guy right here. This is your daytime running light. So as you'll see, there's a little red tab. Now what you want to do is you're going to pull that red tab out. You're going to pull that out. And then you're going to give this a nice little pinch right here. And it pulls off just like so. So really not much to look at. So you're going to come over to your aftermarket harness. You're going to find this female end right here. And that's just going to go right back into the old spot just like so wait for that click and then you're gonna lock it down by pushing that red tab down like so give it a nice little tug it's not going anywhere and then the old one towards then your stock piece is gonna go to that one that's remaining and the both of those connectors look good voila and then again a little red tab push it down and lock it in Give it a nice tug and we are secure. And actually I'm gonna do one last thing. So up here, up, back up top, I'm gonna to actually move this behind this little knob. And then what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna push this further towards the back and out of the way of view from up front. So yeah, you're, you barely can see that. I like that a lot. I like, I like that look a lot better than having to route through here and squeeze your fingers and I don't know, that cable is pretty thick, that harness is pretty thick, you would definitely see it through this grill. So I highly recommend just going straight back. It's a lot easier and it's going to look better too in my opinion. Alright, so I want to close up this video. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together, which is this little intake piece, the little snorkel. Put that little panel back on, close the hood, and uh, make sure everything works properly. And then I'll go ahead and throw a little cinematic shot of everything so you guys know what it looks like at night. Okay, now that it's all said and done, there is the final product. You cannot see anything crazy or out of the ordinary from the naked eye, but if you do get closer and end up looking inside, even the camera's having a hard time finding it, you can see the harness routing back there, but that's better than being exposed towards the outside of this, like the instructions say. But um, yeah, I am pretty happy with that. Give you one, get one last go of the glow tie itself. And let me show you guys the fitment. It's got like a little gap right there, but it's nice and tight in there and it's not going anywhere. Just figured I'd show you guys that as an extra little hoo on the video. But yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out, get this installation done, save yourself some money, and be more in tune with your car. 
Uh, make sure you guys consider subscribing. Like I said before, there's plenty of car vehicle. There's plenty of more modifications we can do to this car. And if you guys are Mitsubishi fans, I got the Lancer as well. So with that, with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. Never live your life on idle, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and as always, if you guys if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to lay a comment down below, and I'll try to address them for you. Um, but yeah, if I can do this mod, anybody can. Later. Oh,